Good evening, folks. I'm back. I know I've been missing for a couple of days. It's been pretty hectic around here. But tonight we're going to play a little game. It's going to be called America by the Numbers, Volume 1. Okay, I'm going to read you some actual facts. And we're going to do some statistical work, okay? So here we go. I got notes for this because it's this kind of complicated. So, so far... Now, this is as of a couple of days ago, so I haven't really seen anything today. Okay. 17 elected legislators have gone to New York to pay fealty to Donald Trump while he's being tried on criminal charges. Now, each and every one of these elected officials has taken their place at the podium and assailed the justice system on behalf of a known criminal. And oddly enough, I spotted at least five men from our legislature who were dressed just like Donald Trump. They all had blue suits and red ties on. It's amazing what happens when you're in a cult. I'm sure the master demanded that they dress like him. And you know, the reason he's doing this is because all of those millions of supporters, you know, his base MAGA has failed to show up at the courthouse. So he had to call in reinforcements on the American citizens tax dollar, because I can promise you they're not paying for their way to, to New York out of their own money. That's our first statistic for today. We're not done yet though. We get a few more here. 100 Facebook groups are now playing host to extremist militias who are coordinating and plotting for the 2024 election, right? All of Donald Trump's little militias, everybody who thought they were all going to be gone after January 6, 2021, they're all back. They're much more organized now than they were the first time. And they are now taking up residence on Facebook. And Facebook is apparently turning its head. Let's hope the federal government isn't. 11 million undocumented immigrants will be rounded up by Donald Trump and deported with no path to citizenship if he is elected. He will round them up and they will wait in what he will build as detention camps for these people. If you think that's okay, there's something wrong with you. 112 House Republicans voted against Ukraine aid. They held up the bill for six months, causing unnecessary deaths, untold violence, and incredible destruction in Ukraine. 112 Republicans is literally more than half of the number of Republicans we have in the House who are Putin puppets. And I promise you there are probably still some Putin puppets who voted for the Ukraine bill. One billion dollars. That is what Trump asked for of the oil executives. One billion dollars to put him back in the White House. And he promised them that he would overturn all of Joe Biden's environmental directives and fast track oil drilling permits. Shall I go on? There's more. $267,600 is the amount of money that the Donors Trust, remember that name, it's a dark money ATM of the right. That's how it has been described. They have given that sum of money to six groups that are designated as hate groups by the Southern Poverty Law Center. $1.8 billion over seven years. That was the amount of money that a bipartisan legislature voted to give Joe Biden as VP for his cancer moonshot. It is the single largest investment the government has made in cancer research. It was touted by both sides of the aisle. It did a great job with expanded cancer screenings cancer prevention programs, and funding for groundbreaking cancer 
research. Let's fast forward now to this particular government. There is no bipartisanship here. They have refused, the Republicans have refused to refund the cancer moonshot, proving that it's party over people. This is what government is all about, is doing stuff like this, okay? Let me give you some other statistics. We have one upside down flag. I'm gonna close with this one, kinda, but not really. One upside down flag flown by Samuel Alito, a Supreme Court justice, proving that he is right there with the insurrectionists. Now he can throw his wife under the bus all he wants. According to him, it was done by his wife in response to her anger at a neighbor's yard sign that was apparently anti-Trump. Look it, that is akin to the dog ate my homework. Samuel Alito must think we're all fucking mega stupid, but we're not. That's my last one that I'm gonna give you until I get to these. And this is my point. 40 million registered Democrats did not vote in 2016. That is how Donald Trump won the presidency. 40 million registered Democrats didn't vote because they read all of the bullshit about Hillary Clinton online. And they decided to believe it, even though it was planted there by Russia and the right wing. 40 million registered Democrats did not vote in 2016. Had they voted in 2016, we would not be here right now. Okay, in 2022, only 52% of registered voters nationwide went to the polls after, after living through six years of Donald Trump's bullshit. They still couldn't get their ass off the sofa and go out and vote. And that's how we lost the House in 2022. As a nation, we are 31st in the world in voter turnout. That is not only dismal, it's pathetic for a country that can vote to be 31st in the world, the country that is seen as the leader. They follow our lead. Let's hope they don't in countries where they can vote. They should never be following our lead because that's pathetic. It is Unbelievable. And I'm saying to you now, if you don't vote, you've got no business bitching about anything that this government does. So let me tell you this. 40 million registered Democrats stay home in November. If only 52% show up to vote in November, and if we remain at 31st in the world in voter turnout, we are looking at an authoritarian government under Donald Trump in November. Understand that and make sure you do the right thing because there is no solution to any problem under Donald Trump. You should know that by now. I'll talk to you all later.